Anyway, intro time, play your sounds like crazy people and get rid of that beard, James. Go! James, you might wish you had a beard, but you don't. Get rid of it. I wish I don't go shave. Yep. Do that right now. Okay. Done. Oh, well done. Okay, hello and welcome back to part two of the E3 Gaming Octopus Octo Chat Thingamajig. Uh, that's Johnny, that's James, that's Liam. Thank you. Long around. Yeah, hey. anyway. So, in the previous part, we discussed a lot of rubbish about how we think all the consoles are smelly and PC gaming master race and whatever. And. Uh... And. <laughs> and now, on with some more! <laughs> Oh, that was a smooth intro. <laughs> okay, there. so who do you think has won the current console war? The PS3, the Xbox 360, or the Wii? Ooh. We'll count it as a year back, so. I mean, it depends what you call. Who's. Well, te the PS3 sold more. It's sold more. Really? Um, yep, it has. Than the Xbox, yeah. yeah, it just overtook it. Um, oh, okay. Because it, the p thing with the PS3 is it owns Asia. Um, Microsoft outdoes it in America and stuff, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, it's very close though, isn't it, between the two of them? I mean, it is. I mean, we has won sales-wise, like over a hundred yeah. sort of million. So. I mean, if you talk about what's revolutionised the most, the Wii. Because the Wii. I mean, it's it's a pile of crap, but. <laughs> well, it, it is. It was so behind it does what it's, technology. It does what it's but, meant to do. Yeah, I mean, because it like. The Wii came out, then two, three years later we have the Kinect and the PlayStation Move. Hmm. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. seem se fairly similar to the Wii And now, now we've got the Kinect marketed as like one of the big points for the one. It is, but none of us really care about it in like... No. That's no true. one cared when it was on the 360 either. Yeah, the no. way that it's implemented is not interesting. Good. No. But how, what would make it interesting? How would the, you want it in the game? I think the fact that it's implicated is the problem. What, the I think... You have to... I don't want it in a game, to be honest. Mm. I can't think of a game I'd like it in, as mm. well. Yeah, the... Like, shouting at your TV to make it do stuff make, is, feels silly. <laughs> Waving your arms around to do stuff feels silly. All the functionality yeah. of it feels suited to party games. I mean, hmm. like, I can just, because now you can say Xbox off, can't you? And it'll turn off. I can just imagine, I, I would be guilty of walking in while someone is playing and just be like, Xbox off! <laughs> and it would just I mean, turn the, off. Well, what the other thing is, so for instance, like, um, I hate it when people, but a lot of casual gamers, they run their, their mics through their TV so that you can hear everyone else in the lobby continually echo. So what happens if some joker just goes, huh, Xbox off, and just turns 12 <laughs> people in the lobby and all of their Xbox turn off? It's going to be absolute chaos. You're giving them ideas now. There has to be a way to turn that off, surely. I mean, there was rumours that there wasn't actually going to be a power button on it, but... But you can't they, turn they, the eye of Sarah I heard that when they were sort of... Doing the sort of when they were doing the Xbox reveal, people who were watching over the Xbox 360 with a Kinect plug-in, like whenever they said Xbox yeah, off uh, on the like reveal, it would turn off the Xbox 360 they were watching on. It's crazy. If I was in the audience, I'd have just shouted that out. Trying <laughs> to switch his Xbox off. But I, I did. To demonstrate the TVs. It just seems like a novelty which isn't really needed. Like, it's kind of like they watched, like, a sci-fi movie from a few years ago, and they were like, oh, it's really cool when people clap and lights come on. Like, let's add that. And it's like, well, great. They watched Minority no one... Report and said, let's make that. Uh, it, I mean, they have, like, these 50-foot living rooms with these people sitting on something which looks like it's out of a Kubrick film in the middle of a sofa, just like, Xbox. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's never so going to happen. It's so perfect and... I mean, did like I'm sure you guys noticed, but any of like the gameplay videos, they were like, and they were saying they were live. Oh, they're not live. You can. Oh, oh yeah, have you seen the God. thing? Like Star Wars Connect. Like there's one bit where, when they were showing that at one E3 or something. 
the guy who was supposedly playing it turned around after the character in the game at one point, and it was like really obvious. That it was that, well, to be. that might just be the fact it was Star Wars Connect. So, well, yeah. <laughs> It's not as awkward as the I'm Han Solo dancing I'm Han game. Solo. I'm Han Solo. <laughs> they didn't well, the fact that, was it the Battlefield 4 trailer didn't play? Yes, that was amazing. Oh, that was it hilarious. Plays. There's no sound. They're like, hang on, wait. We'll do it in a minute. And they're just standing there being heckled by the crowd for like two minutes looking... And they're then there was that there. dragon thing with no sound. Yeah, but they just played that. They didn't really care about that one. Battlefield mm. 4 has to be perfect. Hmm. What I found odd is they didn't actually seem to show off any games that would work with the new Kinect for the Xbox One. There was one. Yeah. Um, what uh, I've got it written down here somewhere. Where is it called? Xbox One. It was Spark. See, oh, now... Spark. Project Spark. Spark. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which, where but... basically you make your own games with a Kinect... It, with, like... could... it could be good. I mean, um... What's it called? Little Big Planet was pretty big, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, from the tra like from the gameplay they showed and sort of from the trailer, it looked like the only game you'd be able to make is, oh look, I've got a town. Oh no, some monsters are coming. Let's defeat them. I'm maybe that was just the demonstration. Yeah, I'm hoping and, it was. I'm hope and besides, people have made like even if there isn't that much, people find ways to make it work, like. You know, be... yeah. I think it's coming out um, on PC as well, so I think I read that somewhere it was going to be PC as well, obviously without the Connect sort of stuff. Although, people must have worked out how to get a Connect to work on PC by now, surely. Oh, like within like a week of the Connect first being released, people had hacked it and used it for all sorts of things. Oh, God. Like, there was someone who made. <laughs> Before there was Minecraft on Xbox, someone made Minecraft work with the Kinect within like a few days of the Kinect coming out or something. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Minecraft. It's, and that was like another thing. Oh, of... yeah, that was the other thing. We support indie games that no one has ever heard of, like Minecraft. That was the only one, wasn't it? There were. There yeah. was How many copies of Minecraft sold now? A lot. No idea. Have a look at the PC sales, Minecraft.net. I don't know, Xbox, Xbox is at least 6 million though, I've heard that. 10 million people. Yeah, it's nearly, at least 16 uh, Nearly 11. Uh, it's yeah. just ridiculous. They don't mm. need to advertise it. Get Just get it out of there, we know it's already going to work there. We don't need to see that. Put something there else there. That it might be coming to the PS4 as well. It mm. would make sense, yeah. but... I mean, well, because... But... Sony showed off a load of like they had their like whole eight people sort of playing their different games that they were developing there. Some of which haven't even been like greenlit on Steam yet, so they're like. That's kind of what they're pushing though. Yeah, isn't it? the variety of games that they're going to be bringing out. The indie games development thing really appealed to me because, um, if it makes sense, I do computer games programming at university. If I go on to make games as a living, it would be nice to be able to publish them easily to a platform such as a PS4. Because yeah, Xbox, that's really you, interesting for me. Because Xbox, you have to be published through their studios, don't you? To get on there. Like, it's yeah. some really weird... It's, it's a double-edged sword, though. Like, on the one hand, like, games that otherwise wouldn't have gotten out there can get out there. On the other hand, you end up with, like, my... If, if it's not sort of gated in some way, you end up with basically the Xbox like indie marketplace yeah. where you've got you've got like yeah. fart games and <laughs> basically soft core porn and stuff, you know? Yeah, which is kind of you why you just end up with kind of crappy iPad yeah. apps. Which is why the Steam Greenlight thing, like I I can see why they did it. I mean I'm not sure it's worked quite how they wanted it to, but it does work. Like it gets games think... that wouldn't normally be out the, out the thing the thing with it is that does anyone just miss i mean obviously it just never there's never really now been a good two player game split screen or not and there there're very few and far between where you can just actually sit down and play it with someone there have been and some enjoy it. 
there have been some decent co-op games. But... Portal Two. Mm. Portal yeah. Two was one. Uh, Magica. Magica was fun. Magica is an incredible. <laughs> when it was. There should be more big open world ones. There are, yeah. there are, there are some, but like there should be some AAA ones yeah. which are based. Well, like, there's enjoy it for co-op. There's um, what do you call it? Saints Row. Yeah, which, Saints Row. If you, is mm. pretty fun. You know, if yeah. when you've got two people together, you roll around in like hover bikes blowing things up with lasers you know yeah cuz you can do you can actually do the story mode as well yeah. yeah you could do the story mode in two player as well which I is think, lacking from yeah. a lot i think open world multiplayer is where this whole gaming market's kind of going and the thing well, that consoles lose out on then is they can't support such the big world sometimes well, they will. There's they will GTA be able to. Five. Yeah, GTA Five is going to be like yeah. a huge seller, even though it's still on the 360 and PS3, I believe, rather than the new. Well, I next imagine they'll they be... transition the games. Yeah, they will, yeah. but they are not developed for it, so they're still like the last generation's hardware is being made for. Uh, I, well, because I heard that FIFA 14 is absolutely crap on the current gen, but next gen is a completely different game. Well, yeah, yeah, I've. It, that's not unheard of when they go from one generation to the next for them to release on both consoles, yeah. but then be different versions. Yeah. Twilight Princess is one. That How are they going to sort there. out the online for that? Just well, have... I imagine it would be online for one game and online a separate online for the other. Yeah, yeah, it'll have to be. I think. Isn't PS4 doing something with keyboard and mouse? Mm, no, I haven't heard about that. I don't know. I don't know if Dust Five on Four ever happened. We'd have to. We should have asked Mike when he was here because he plays Eve a lot. And so I don't know why it ever happened to that. Because that was going to be a free to play. Keyboard and mouse compatible with PlayStation Four. Well, yeah, you plug it in and it works probably. Which is cool. <coughs> Which that's that's nice because yeah, that kind of means that people are going to be developing sort of on similar stuff to PC. If people actually use the keyboard and mouse. Rather than the DualShock Four or Five or whatever it is. Um, is it Four? Four, I think. It must be Four. It's three at the moment. Yeah, so it must be Four. With its little trackpad or whatever it is on it, at the top. Yeah, I, well, the controller has changed a bit. It's a bit bigger, which some people are complaining about. I, th I think it looks good. I, d I never really liked the Xbox One because I don't like the skewed analog stick. Why not just put both of them in down the, the bottom? Mm. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I. It seems weird, but like I went from PlayStation Two to 360, and it really isn't that. You get used. No, to it I don't think either is that taxing. It's just I think it makes more sense to have them next to each other. Still got to say, best controller is the GameCube controller. I think it's the favorite controller mm -hmm. I've used. It just feels the nicest. <laughs> Apparently, it's by tiny. people who've been at E3, there's very little difference between the way the, the Xbox One and the PS4 controller feel. Apparently, they both actually feel very, very similar. Oh yeah, there's a weird like rumble, isn't there? They're adding in, or no, it's um resistance or something to the triggers. Yeah, the triggers like, like have recoil or whatever it is. I'm not quite sure. That's odd. No it's really like for, yet. I would assume, sort of racing. Like they could do it for racing games. Sort of, you have to push harder if you're going down faster to get it to go faster if that makes any sense or I'm not sure quite how they're going to implement it though like it's just having a bit of resistance on the triggers what's that going to do can you have something up if you get a chance oh. maybe later yeah was that Jeffrey <laughs> interrupting me yes <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of the whole smart glass thing for the Xbox One all the tablet rubbish part? Just oh, we don't need yeah. it don't want tablet rubbish. Get it out of here. Basically, the problem is, which everyone has, ba has said already, is why d why should I have to look away from the game yeah. to play the game? Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Again, and it's, it's kind just... of a kind of a criticism of the Wii U as well. With the it's just developing technology for the sake of developing technology. Again, ooh, look at what we can do. But it's they, a they add it to yeah. stuff which isn't yeah, it's just a gimmick. It's not relevant to what you're doing. And they try to make it relevant, but it never really is. It's just 
No. And I think the voice control is similar. Like what? I, I can never really think of maybe if you're typing a message and you can actually say it. But I don't need to shout Xbox off. Like. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, it's not necessary. It reminds me of um, before the Kinect, there was End War, Tom Clancy's End War. Oh yeah. It's like an RTS that you could control with your voice, and it was it was bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one thing the Wii U has is like, if you're playing on the TV downstairs, sort of, say you're a bit younger, you don't have sort of TV in your room or whatever. You're playing on it. You've got your tablet thing, and then say you're playing Mario. You like, and your parents want to watch something on telly. You can leave the Wii U on, put it onto telly. Oh look, it's all here on the little screen in front of me. I can go sit down and play Mario, and you've got the control sort of there on the side of it. Mm. So that is one thing for the glass that actually, you know, the smart glass. But Apparently, you can do. They they're going to try and make it so you can do that with basically any game. The thing is, I if, don't think that'll work in no, the same way it works for the Wii U. No, because you don't have the controls. The thing with the Wii U is you've got the controls on the tablet thing you've got. If you just have a yeah. tablet, it's just a tablet. It's not. Wasn't yeah. the, the touch screen thing. controllers are horrible? Yeah. What was the Razer um, control thing which came out um, was announced ages ago? The Razer Edge. It came out recently, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's going to be reasonable, actually. Like, I've seen See, a couple yeah, of people. Now that. If you're going to make something like that, make that, basically. You know, uh, so that you can have stuff designed to play on that, and not just something you know. similar. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing is like I was on the Dead Rising Three, the calling in the airstrike. I mean, do I really want to put down my controller? <laughs> you don't have four phone, hands. Yeah. My phone down. Pick up my <laughs> controller again. <laughs> just hit it with your face or your feet. Cause... I mean, it all comes back. I mean, the Wii again. The Wii's like the original. It's like. <laughs> what? Shut up. The, like the Wii original. I mean, it's not really motion control. Like they acted out like it's such a cool thing. But when really, it's like the best way to bowl or play golf on Wii Sports is to go like this. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, so it's just it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick, and um, I just don't see it being worth anything. It won't last, is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did I? Uh, okay, a game we haven't talked about: Rise, the random Roman one. Ah, I have not that seen looked this. really interesting up until the moment that the floating X appeared above the enemy's head. Yeah, yeah exactly the same. Exactly the same. Like. It was very cinematic, like the first sort of stuff, but I mean, it's the trailer, isn't it? So, And then when it got into the gameplay, it's like, every single time you killed someone, we're going to show you a slow motion killing! And like I can understand that in stuff like sort of Bayonetta, where it is just absolutely bonkers and there's stuff flying everywhere, like... The world's exploding, and there's stuff a sword like that the size should be... of the moon... <laughs> Cinematic kills need to be a reward. Like, you go through an encounter that's difficult and you beat up all the enemies, and then, like, you get it down to, like, one or two enemies, and from doing all the fighting, you filled up a bar or something, and you get to pull off a cinematic finisher yeah, on I... the encounter. And it, it's something you earn, not something. Yeah. It's, it's not like the. The way you fight in a game. Yeah, I mean, if you think back to Warhammer Space Marine, you know, we were playing that last summer, that was kind of in between because you could pull off these, like, special sort of stun moves where you'd heal back health, but you didn't have to. Like, it gave you the and option. And it was often to do it. bad to try and do it all the time because you would end up dying. losing yeah. more health than you'd gain. Yeah. Yeah. I think that should just. You can do something, but you don't have to, is the way that all games and consoles should be made. Unless Basically, it's like a final game... boss. Mm. It's kind of... And that that's part of the reason, like, that a lot of games at the moment bore me so much. Because they're like, you must do it this way. And we might, if you're lucky, give you... A chance to do something in a different way, but yeah. when we let you do that, you have to do it that way. 
No, I mean, I've started playing through Deus Ex Human Revolution. I did before, but then I got stuck on a boss fight. So I'm starting again. But there's a bit near the beginning where you have to go into a police station down to the morgue. I accidentally shot one of the police officers. <laughs> so suddenly, <laughs> the entire building's like, what are you doing? Rah, chasing me. So I'm like hiding in vents. I managed to get outside. <sighs> Apparently, everybody outside knows about me too. So they start shooting me. I'm like, no. No, so then I have to. I have found this tunnel like underneath sort of the station where you can sneak down into the morgue. Luckily, there's only a couple of guys down there. Shoot it, get the stuff, and just leg it literally all the way across this square to the train station. And it was mad because like, I could have done it the normal way, but I accidentally did that and I had to improvise. And that yeah. sort of stuff is yeah, a lot I of like fun. that. That's good. I like it when you get. You can do this. Um... Some people are better at implementing it than others. I like that you can either just guns blazing it or be, you know, whatever, sneaky. sneaky. Yeah. And if you're smart about it, then you get rewarded. Um, that's cool. Uh, you know, you don't want to be like... There's nothing worse than in a game you, like, walking the wrong way and then just uh, teleport backwards. It's so, like, really? This is... What is that? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it is open world is, is the way it's going. Yeah, um, but yeah, the reason I stopped playing Deus Ex before was because of a boss that you had to do, and it was, oh, that's the biggest complaint I think everybody's had about the new Deus Ex, Human Revolution, the boss fights, and it was just so, yeah. such a stupid fight that I just tried it for sort of half an hour to an hour, gave up, I was like, what is, this? why, this is just so awkward, and then never went back to it, because I just didn't want to have to face that fight again, and that's not a good thing. Like, yeah, I'm not a fan of these heavily scripted things like that. It's just meh. You want to decide for yourself. Like if yeah. I want to, I don't. I don't mind if you you limit it a bit. But like, if I'm like, oh, that looks cool. I want to be able to walk over and see. Like, stop putting invisible walls. Yeah, places. it's the difference. Yeah, that's what makes games better in a way than films and TV shows because you have yeah. the control to look at the stuff you want to see, and it's all open for you to look at and take your time over. Whereas Sometimes, in a TV like Heavy show, Rain, film... it's, it's good to be able to kill off a character by accident. Like, you know, mm. it's not always good to have everything scripted. No. Mm. Like, um, personally, I absolutely hated the new Bioshock because... It felt like it was trying to m force me into being a, a sort of, well, it was a very linear shooter, and yeah. I didn't play the original Bioshock like that. I actually played it quite slowly, carefully, and sort of stealthily almost, which yeah. was, you know, you could actually do in the original, and was basically, th in in the newest one... That wasn't an option at all. No, so I, I look, yeah, I love Bioshock just because of the story, but like the, I by the end, and I only played it on normal. I don't play games on hard. I just prefer to actually play them. And like, even by the end, I was getting annoyed. I was like, really? Why am I just running at bullets, dying over? No, and over again? The, the hard it's mode just... in that game is not how you do hard mode either. It's just, oh look, this guy has now got more health. Yeah, I mean the health towards the end was just ridiculous. It was kind of like, well, meh, this is getting near the end now. Let's just make everyone really hard to kill. And, so and it wasn't like you had to be smart about it. It's just like you just keep dying until everyone else does. So I would much have preferred a sneakier way to go about that. Yeah, and yeah. they could have easily done it with just Elizabeth explaining and hinting you, pushing you in the right direction. Yes, no spoilers. Especially, especially with her tears. I mean, she could easily just tear secret roots. That was yeah. another thing. They pro like, when when they were sort of teasing it, they were saying how Elizabeth was going to be doing all this stuff, like making rain clouds appear to cover the ground in water so you could zap it with electricity and blah, blah, blah. blah. And then it just turned into the tears in the end. And yeah. there weren't even that many creative uses of the tears, so... No, and I also got a bit annoyed with, like, the... You got, like, ten options of things to tear, and it's like, then they just stayed there. 
after you'd chosen one, so there was just a bunch of blue fuzzy stuff all over your screen for a while. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you need to get around to playing the first Bioshock. I think you'd enjoy it. I, yeah, you've got it, don't you? So I do. Yeah, get around to playing that. You might, it might not be worth sort of making videos on it, but I would definitely play for it if I were you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's like I, one of my favorite, like, one of my favorite FPS because of the atmosphere and the fact that it's like not strictly shooting. I like that. I don't. I don't like things which is just strictly shooting, because it gets to the point where it just feels like you're in a very long action film. Yeah. And there's only so many times that you can feel cool shooting a gun. Yeah. Okay. Any other topics anyone's got in their heads? Because I've got another one that I can think of. But no, shoot away. Go away. Go ahead then. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> what? I meant. <laughs> so, both the Xbox One and the PS4 have the ability to stream to different services. So Xbox One is Twitch, and PS4 is Ustream. So I'm reckon? kind of interested in how good is the streaming? Because there definitely can't be any local recording, because there's no way their hard drives are quick enough or big enough to deal with that. No. No, it's, it's purely streaming, and, like, I think... Which, I don't remember which one of them it is, but one of them showed off a basic video editing thing with it Xbox, as well. I think it was Xbox. Yeah, it was the yeah. Xbox, because they were doing it with Killer Instinct, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, that game looks fun. Fighting game. I reckon it could be really useful for uh, like these big YouTube uh, directors who stream the whole time. But it's... then again, I don't want to go on Twitch and just see, like... 3,000 Call of Duty ghost oh, streams the yeah, problem... up there by mm. one viewer. So problem... yeah, that, that's what happened with Black Ops. When the first Black Ops came out, they allowed you to upload short clips. And the amount of people... I mean, it was it was endless, yeah. the amount of terrible clips. And what it did was it saturated the whole community. And if you look at the kind of views around Modern Warfare 2 time, the bigger people were getting a million a video. And now, and then when that came out, it just, yeah, everything It's just going to ruin all of this YouTube sort of gaming Let's Play stuff, because everybody thinks they can do it now. Yeah. Woo! We're really good at commentating on stuff. Oh, so today I went down to Sainsbury's and I bought myself a muffin. It was a tasty muffin. <laughs> Hope you enjoy oh, my 140p quality. Yeah. I forgot to crop the video so there's a large black line in it with an Xbox <laughs> logo. Um, oh, what's really be... awkward is when people have recorded in uh, 16 by 9 then used Movie Maker and <laughs> rendered it in 4 by 3 and then uploaded it to YouTube so the whole thing's got a black box around it. Oh, but I mean, Johnny, because you record from your PS3, you've got the HD PVR or whatever it is, don't you? And yeah. that, like you were saying, that's probably not going to work. No, that's, see, the problem with the HD PVR is it's component, um, because the PS4, th 3, sorry, um, that, that was what you needed, basically, to record back then. Um, now you've got the Elgato and stuff, but now I need to buy a converter, because the PS4 is only HDMI, which yeah. is a bit, a bit annoying. So, I mean, really. and there's no way of... Like, it would be useful for you if you could stream but have it private so not anyone can tune in. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't have the processing or the hard... They don't have the hardware to do it. They... I don't know. It might manage it. I, I don't think so. I don't think... And the thing... The, the other thing is, though that would be nice, it's not like you can do a playthrough like that. No. Because you, no. you can't sync... There's no audio, is there? There must be audio. Surely they have to. How? How would you... Well, I mean, you can record... Obviously, you can have, like, Audacity open or something recording through your mic sure. and then playing along. Well... Like, that would work. Uh, I... Uh, all the... They, they've got, like, built-in um, chat function, haven't they? They've got built-in chat. Like... Yeah. yeah. So, so if you have it, a mic it wouldn't be down. that hard to patch that mm. into the stream. I imagine. I mean, it would be nice if they put some form of OBS or XSplit in there. 
that's what would be really, yeah. really useful. Because I mean, otherwise it would be like, oh look, game. It'd be nice if they didn't make it easy to use. Yeah, it would. I, it would. I really don't want people just clicking share over and over and over because it's like so many people are going to get these consoles and they're going to be like, look, I shot someone. Share. And, you know. Yeah, the thing is, it's, it's going to be bad, but I think quality is still going to win out because, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of really bad quality video. The issue I is... Think I don't think... People yeah. who do it... I think people who do it properly with like a computer hooked up and like record in episodes and you know properly edit it and everything and upload to YouTube are gonna still. The problem is it's gonna be hard to find them. Yeah. Because mm. you're gonna have so much just complete and utter terribleness out there. And it's already pretty damn hard. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I reckon the novelty will wear off after a while, though. It will. That's it what will, I mean. but not for everyone, because it's it's the unique. Exp it's a complete unique experience to someone who buys it. So, for instance, you know, a guy who's when we buy it or whatever, if, if anyone's actually going to buy it, um, you know. But the, what they say is going to be around for a decade. When mm -hmm. some guy, is, so it's 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 someone's ten when it comes out. Yeah. So five years into the future, when he gets it. Yeah, it's a unique experience to him uploading to YouTube. Yeah, he's yeah. never he never heard of it before, and then it's uh, like so that process will just continue over and over and over. Um, I don't think it's good, really. It's it's because it's not competition. What it really does is it just makes a bigger divide between the big. Uh, so people go, well, these yeah. guys are the big guys who do it professionally. Anyone lower sucks. And then they say, well, you know, look at these people sucking. And they kind of group us Everybody guys together, in yeah. With yeah. the guys who. Makes it harder for papers. people who are good to get noticed, yeah. Yeah. Which, making it harder for people to get noticed only makes the bigger bigger. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Which is unfortunate because I really don't like a lot of the bigger. No, <laughs> personally. Yeah. I mean, because yes. on, on like YouTube now, I ha for me to even have a chance of my channel appearing on other people's pages, I have to say popular channels can be shown on yeah. our page, and that's like Yogscast, other people like that that are already like, oh look, we have two million subscribers. Haha, <laughs> we're already rich, making money. And you're wondering yeah, so how many more subscribers are they actually going to get? Is it really worth them doing to it? To give like you, this? Uh, for instance, of how bad it is, YouTube cheat the metadata. So, I um, I I made a thing yesterday, and I copy the exact title with like the brackets and the hyphens, the whole title, and pasted it straight in. And then, so I didn't appear on the first page, so I put my username after that. So now, uh, the zeitgeist, with millions of views, appears nothing else in the title relevant to my thing. Nothing else on the front page. Coney 2012, 97 million views. Nothing relevant in the title. Now the metadata has not, you know, it's, it's cheating it because, are they the only ones who put film? No, obviously not. So, they're already... It's it's not gonna be possible in the future if they're gonna because they're obviously gonna have to they're gonna have to up, up their game doing exactly the same thing if there's gonna be so many more people uploading. What they don't want is someone typing in gaming into YouTube and finding that bloke who's uploaded ninety seven five oh, seconds. Although one thing I can say is at least it's Twitch and Ustream. A lot of people won't know how to get it from yeah, those services to YouTube. Because it is a bit sort of twisty as um, it is on Twitch already, but it won't. Not everyone will do it. A lot of not great. Is it? Um, well, for me, it's not just because I can't stream in high quality anyway. But I don't know what yours would look like if you just stick it on YouTube. Because I know you're 720, so yeah. yeah. I just I don't see it. I don't think the technology is good enough for it to work properly. So in the state that it's at, I don't see it doing anyone really any favours. 
No. Um, did any of you see the Ubisoft game The Crew? Yes. Because no. I went on a big Twitter fest about this because it looked really cool. It's another sort of racing driving game, but it's like it's all co-op. I think is the point, which is like, oh, you have to get free friends to do this game properly. Because it's basically, you're a crew of people, like, you can do sort of your single player races and stuff, but if you group up, then there's like special sort of bits, like there's a heist sort of thing, you have to take down vans and get away from the police and stuff like that, and then there's also like, you take on other crews and stuff. And it's just something a bit different in a racing game, because you don't have all that online multiplayer massive It sounds like Fast and Furious, you know. It, well, yeah, exactly. But the game. I like the. Uh, it seems a lot more open world, and you can sort of do what you want. Which yeah, because it's meant to be like sort of. It, it's like obviously a scaled version of the entirety of America, is what they yeah. showed in the sort of trailer thing they had. But that would be cool. I, I'm looking forward to that because I'll definitely pick it up. I just hope someone else wants will. to play it as well. Yeah. I've heard there's a. They might be implementing a game mode to it uh, that you do with your crew. It's called mortar mode. Basically, it fires a metaphorical mortar and it lands somewhere on the map. So one point on that map is marked, and it's the first person to get to that um, mark wins. So you can get an off-road vehicle, you can go off-road, you get a fast car, drive along the streets, and it's just the first person to reach that location. Yeah, because it looks like there's no sort of limitation, so it's more open-world stuff. Like you yeah. can drive off-road, but it's not good for your fast car. Like. No. You're not going to get far. That just looks really interesting. So, uh, not to go too off topic here, but um, this has happened about three times now. I wasn't going to say that, but uh, so I, I don't know if anyone else is having this problem. I just clicked my subscriptions on YouTube, and instead of taking me to my subscriptions page, it either disconnects me completely and says it's down, or it takes me to a page where it says PewDiePie's uploaded a video. Sky does Minecraft, Fine Bros, um, Yogg's Cast, Jenna Marbles, Rooster Teeth. So it's taking you, you know, to just a random humor, page. College Humor, Captain yeah. Sparkles. Yeah. Why um, is it taking me there? Magic. Well, I've been having, I've only been having it sort of say it can't connect. I haven't got the uh, sort of home page thing. See, now, that is very... Uh, to me, that's just almost borderline evil. Uh, <laughs> YouTube doing that. Like, they take they take all the mobile views, and then it's like, well... If you're just gonna... It's the fact that they just ignore everyone, which is the problem. Mm. They just ignore everyone, and then just give everything to the, the top. Um, and to like to take, it's almost like tricking people. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't, it's just bad. Okay, another thing. Did you guys see Dark Sorcerer, I think is what it was called? I, was there any gameplay footage? Because was... I saw the trailer where it was like the guy with the green screen and everything. Yeah, that's no, that's all I've seen. I don't know if they that actually That was really random. Really said it was just so weird, wasn't it? It was amusing. It was, it was cool, but what, what is it? it do? What's the game? Yeah. I don't know. Someone have, a, someone have a look for it, because I obviously can't touch anything or it breaks. If the game's funny, then I reckon it could be quite good. If it's along the same kind of theme, like random things happening like that in the world. If uh, maybe it's a dungeon keeper style game. I don't know. You know, that's Possibly. what I got. Yeah. That that's what the impression I got mostly from it. Yeah, I I'll mean, let me have a look. See what it's. because yeah, there was another infamous um, trailer. For I don't know if any of you played the first Second infamous. Sun or yeah. whatever it was called. Where you have superpowers and you just kill stuff, pretty much. You're, is that product. the shape shifting one? Uh, that's prototype, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very Infamous similar. The electricity yeah. one. They came out at the same time and were basically the same thing. So. Yeah. There's a 12-minute trailer for the Dark Sorcerer, but it's just it's a cinematic. It's not any gameplay okay. or anything like that. We'll have to wait and that's see on a that. Bit rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. 12 minutes is a long time. Um, there was another one, The Order. Oh yeah, yeah. The steampunky werewolf. Oh, I saw some of that actually. Yeah. It looked really. I cool. didn't really. It was good. 
Yeah. Again, there was no gameplay, and we just we don't really know. It could be a linear shooter. That's what I was thinking when I saw it. Or it could be, you know, it, it could be any number of things. I was, if they do it right, I reckon the order could be quite interesting to play. Yeah, I was I mean, worried though we, when I saw them just shooting millions of werewolves. Well, I was like, oh. you say linear shooter like it's a bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just I think we want to see something more. else. Yeah. It's been it's been done is the thing. Yeah, but, but new, like new era. If, if you do it well, a linear shooter is fine. It's just that there's so many of them and no one's doing them well. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much sums it up. I think it's because it's from an era of time that they haven't really had any shooters from, like where early weapons. But they're not even. They're kind. They're like. It's, I think what were they? They were like it's a steampunky sort of. It's like Dishonored, kind yeah. of, but a bit earlier than Dishonored, I think, because that where yeah. you ha you have a cross. The thing is, Dishonored they've got like thing. actual, they've got like actual sort of automatic weaponry. It's basically like they've they've stuck modern guns into Victorian times. Is that essentially makes them look what a bit of Victorian. Yeah, I saw an interview mm. that said they were trying to sort of have a play on what could be done with the technology they had back in those days and that kind of thing so if they so, were, so if it went in a different basically. direction if technology yeah. had been influenced by something as not having anything too outrageous all of these could possibly have been plausible for that era, era of time if they'd have if they'd thought of it yeah supposedly but who knows we've only seen the trailer for it i mm. i'm still really annoyed at the fact that being able to say that used gate that like used games don't have an extra price is a big thing. Cause like the amount the cheer that they got when it was announced at the PS4 conference was like the longest well, cheer the thing of the night. Was, the the thing was that like there are people who are sort of hailing Sony as the saviors and you know that's that's no. no. That they they still we should still be keeping an eye on them. But yeah. like when they no one was sure whether the PlayStation was going to do the same thing or not. You know, we, we, no one knew whether they were going to, if both of the major consoles were going to be restricting used games. Yeah, so I mean, when yeah, Sony yeah. announced that they weren't, you know, it was. They didn't do it because they're nice. They did it because they wanted money, and they knew that was going yeah, to yeah, fix yeah, yeah. them. Yeah, they knew that was going to sell them more consoles. Yeah, I know, but like Nintendo didn't even need to bother. Like say any of this stuff because they don't care about it. Like the Wii was backwards compatible with GameCube stuff. Like they had all the ports and stuff. When and then when I you look just, at, I don't think anyone cares about the Wii. Which is, is the why, they don't why though? It. It's, oh. it's boring. It just costs too much to make the PS4 backwards compatible. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. But to the PS3, surely it wouldn't cost that much. To the PS3 would be nice. Like, oh, nice. that's the PS2, obviously, but PS3, surely they could do that. When they made the PS3 backwards compatible with the PS2, what they effectively had to do is make a really small... It's not. No, because they started... No, no. At the beginning, there was limited backwards compatibility with the PS2. Then there was a um, sort of a patch or an update they did where every game was then compatible. And then two years later, they completely took it out because they started yeah. selling them on the PlayStation Store. See... If you gave me all games available from PS1 all the way up to PS4 on the store, and I mean like for a pound, like pound each, less than five yeah. pounds, I'll happy. I'll go back and play all my childhood games. Yeah, I mean, what we... I don't want is I'm not yeah. playing old games for forty pounds. Yeah, no, I, but I'd love them available. It's... I that, like the option. Yeah, it's another thing Nintendo does. They have their online store where you can get these old games for cheaper prices. I got F Zero, one of the older F Zeros, on my Wii. That's one of the only two games I got, but I got it and it was playable, played fine. And Nintendo have been doing all the stuff people want, but nobody makes games for them. <sighs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> like they're they're not. I think it's because for it's game devs, the right, better right. tech is just so yeah. sort of tantalizing. You know, we can put more st more stuff on the screen. We can have higher resolution. We, you know, 
I don't the problem. think games get taken seriously on the Wii either. It's they. It's because Nintendo don't. They don't want to sort of have an expensive console, even though the Wii U with the tablet thing was, what, 329 was it when it came out? Something like that? That's still not the most expensive well, like, no, of the new consoles. But it's nearly twice what the Wii was. Because the Wii was 180 mm. when it released. I know inflation and whatever, but it's not. That would take it up to, say, 240, 230, but it's still another. Ninety pounds. I know you get the tablet and whatever, but hang on. I had something somewhere. I made loads of notes earlier. I don't know where it is though. Um Ah, where is it? Okay, I don't know. Um continue talking. Otherwise it's quiet while I'm looking for a million bits of paper. Go. Uh okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh has anyone seen what Adobe is doing? Adobe? We're talking about games, yes. fool. I know, but you said talk about something. I meant game <laughs> related. Any... Oh, okay, we game can talk related. talk about how expensive consoles are. We can yeah, that's that, true. That was what I was going to say. Go. Yeah. <laughs> that was... it... So, Xbox One Failed. is nearly £500 in England? It's uh, $599, isn't about it? About right, yeah. It's. Uh, that's I wrote these down. Like, I can't remember how much it was. Yeah. Yeah, 429 yeah. pounds. 500. The PS3 is nearly 100 yeah. cheaper. It's so it's 500 dollars, 500 euros, 429 pounds for the Xbox. Yep. 399 dollars, 399 euros, 349 pounds. Yeah. I believe for the PS3. Four. Sorry. Yeah. That's right. Which I mean, Europeans and us kind of get completely screwed over in that sense we with do. the fact it's one to one ratios, but. If it was three hundred, that would just that would fly off the chip. Mm. It's cheaper That's... than the PS3. Isn't yeah, it? that, it's that already would cheap. Absolutely, yeah. it's the same price sales. as the PS3 was eight years ago. There's been inflation and stuff for eight years, and it's still the same price. How much of a loss are they operating at to to make a lot. that? A lot. It's all consoles are at a loss, like. That's just sort of a known fact. Well, that's got to be big. I mean, I know they're not going to be relevant by the time the decade's over, but they've got a pretty decent graphics card in there, don't they? Mm. Well, it's a mixed sort of graphics card CPU. It's all in one chip, oh. I think, now. So it's What's obviously confusing? slightly cheaper. Is that the PS4 can be more powerful and still be cheaper than the Xbox One? Connect is the I, reason. I think it's just Sony's being less... Yeah, that and Sony's just being less greedy. Hmm. I One second, there's someone at the door. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if they had an Xbox One at a lower price without a Connect bundled with it, then that would have been more appealing, I reckon, to everyone. Yeah, it's the fact that they've got the Connect in there, it's just it's put the price up. And mm. I don't see why. Why is it? Why does it have to be there? It can't be essential, surely. Like, it like, is, it is, it is. No, but I mean, like, oh, to play the games, it, you don't... You well, can't... They're, they're saying it is. Why? It's like, I don't want... It's like, would you like to spend £80 on something you never want to use? Yes, I think I do, actually. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it's going to stare at you, whether you like it or not. And listen. Exactly. And watch you do stuff. <clears throat> Unless you, <laughs> unless you decide you like paper and you just put a bit of paper yeah. over it and you're like, okay. But then apparently it doesn't operate properly. If you put a piece of paper over it. Uh, Maybe make uh, a little stick figure. Not a... <laughs> Have a stick figure, stick it in front of it and trick it. A scarecrow. Yeah. Have the TV on in the background, point the connect at the TV. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, we're talking about tricking the Kinect in the Xbox to have like either a little stick figure or pointing it at the telly so that it tricks itself. I don't think that would work. <laughs> Exception. <laughs> uh, one thing that Microsoft I guess can be praised for is the fact that Microsoft points are gone now and it's now just real money. That's... Yeah, that, that makes sense. 
<laughs> I mean, why did they do it in the first place to make you feel like you weren't spending as much money? Uh, yeah, oh, and to get more I money out of you. I think it was, yeah. Nintendo And also, it was thing. really stupid. All the prices didn't match up with, like, yeah. how many points you could buy. So that's... you always had these leftover points, and it was... That's, well, that's, that's the why point, they do it, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. DLC has always been 1,200 points. They specifically sold 1,500, so you had to buy an extra 300 points. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, you'll have enough to buy an extra thing, but it means you have to buy like five sort of sets of cards or whatever. But then I'm really to... bad at that because then I'll be looking and I'll see something like something stupid extra that I want. I think I have just enough points for it. And then I have to then go and buy a whole another yeah. set. Yeah. So it works, is, is the thing. Yeah. It yeah. worked, is mm. why. But then obviously people start to complain as PlayStation is real money, isn't it? It's not yeah. points um, or anything. It's a mix, I think. No, Kinda. PlayStation it 3 Depends was... on your game. Okay. I think. It's, it's, yeah. Because but... some... I mean, I, I know FIFA, for example, does... Uh, they have their own system. I think, um... What game was it? Um, on. Oh, Dead Space. You had some form of tokens, I think. I don't remember. Dead Space 3 had terrible, like, microtransactions, though. Apparently, yeah. like, yeah. in the game, you could buy a gun. And be like, yeah. yeah, you could buy, like, gun parts that basically were, like, endgame stuff from the beginning, and yeah. you could buy. You could buy bots, which basically, in-game, you got one bot, and you would, like, send it out, it would gather resources, and then you'd pick it up at a, like, checkpoint again. And you could buy extra bots to, like, dramatically increase your resources so that you could upgrade faster and basically break the balance of the game yeah. completely. Yeah, I mean, when the... yeah... I mean, what was it? Killzone something, a PS4 one. That had a little robot thing that floated around in front of you. I've never played any of the Killzone games or looked at them, but it looked quite cool. Like, you have this little robot you can send forwards to sort of scout out a position and neutralise it. Is that no. bad, though? No, that looked fun. Because I think if you, if you pay, you oh. not... Like, it's not... It's not like people are doing this and it's affecting anyone else. Yeah, that's that's the one saving grace. It's not online doing anything. Like if someone bought a gun and I have to play them online and I stand no chance unless I buy it, that's yeah. bad. But if it's just single player it's or not... like two player But online, you shouldn't have it's to... Not really but it's like paying money for you don't single have player. To, though, do you? No. So it's uh, I I don't know if it's bad that they give you the option to. But it's that you that it gives you a cheat through the game. It does, but who does that affect apart from them? No one. But it's it's just. But at the they... same at the same time, do you remember when cheats were a code you punched yes, into the I game? Do. Yes. Yeah. No. I was about to bring that up afterwards, but uh, Guitar Hero is the last game I think I used cheat codes on. I mean, GTA 4 has cheat codes. Oh, okay, and GTA yeah, 4 Yeah, that, well. that yeah. disabled achievements, though, so I don't think I it ever did. actually ended up using which, it. Which was quite clever. That's how, you know. Yeah, I'm not saying that was a bad thing. It was just, it kind of stopped me from using them when there was a kind of a punishment for it. Uh, I like I like it, though. Like It's um, just fun to muck around in. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. you just want to muck around. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, especially on a game like GTA. Yeah. Oh, definitely. On San Andreas is obviously known for its cheats. The yes. flying cars and stuff. And... Hot coffee. <laughs> uh, that was a mod, wasn't it? I think yeah. so, yeah. I mean, Rollercoast Tycoon as well is one I used cheats for. There was a cheat where you could make everybody that was in your park sick at one time. So you just have 4,000 <laughs> piles of puke on them. <laughs> just like... Why would you want that? Have fun, janitors. <laughs> and then you, you can also disable height, couldn't yeah, you? And then like, oh, building oh. your roller coaster that went into the like stratosphere. <laughs> yeah, I spent some time doing that before. And it, you can you go so high, you can see the entire world just in the middle of your screen, and it's beautiful. I mean, 
the thing with microtransactions is a lot of people don't like them, but they do allow games to be sold for less. There is as, that, yeah. As long as I... they don't infringe on other people's gameplay too much, but I don't Space... think it's a bad thing. Dead Space like, 3 wasn't uh, cheaper. I... I agree. No, that's true. It doesn't always work. I agree. Like, it's... It requires a sort of a very skillful touch. Yeah. But free-to-play or microtransactions are, you know... They can be good. Very good. Like, you know... Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that game? Uh, Diablo has got an auction house, hasn't it? Or something it... like that. Oh, yeah, Real Money <laughs> Auction House. <laughs> yeah, but that's... That like... failed, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, Diablo 3 is being bought to uh, consoles. Eventually. Yeah. But, uh, That's really interesting. I've never really played... Have a whole bunch of problems with that. The, like, the like, auction house got hacked so much. Because it was involving real money. As soon as you involve real money in something, well, <laughs> you're just asking yeah. for people to hack it, really. Yeah, that's, that's a big... There's game. another big MMO coming to the consoles, isn't there? Uh, uh Elder Star Scrolls. Elder yeah. Scrolls Online, yeah. Which should be okay. It should be interesting. I don't. Uh, what's Blizzard's new project? Titan. Titan. They've delayed that by yeah. tons. Of course I, they have. I, it's Blizzard. <laughs> I'm a yeah. big fan of um, like Elder Scrolls, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, Elder Scrolls Online. But at the I same just... time, I I'm not a I've never really played an MMO before, so I just I don't see no. MMOs working on a console. They would. Yeah. The thing is. Well, the thing is, like traditionally MMOs have been very sort of hotkey based. You know, you you needed a whole keyboard to be able to do yeah. all the stuff you needed to do, and lately they've been a lot of more recent MMOs have been cutting it down into a more sort of action RPG style. Yeah, is so, Elder Scrolls Online going to be a subscription base? Do we know yet, or is it going to be free to play? I can't remember. It must be free to because if it's subscription. That's really not a good move. No, I mean Rift. Is it Rift? They're, I think they've. That's an MMO, right? It's Rift. Uh, maybe. I think so. Cause I think Rift. Yeah, because they've gone free to play recently as well. They were like one. Yeah, they, of, yeah. they were the last sort of successful subscription-based one, I think, because obviously the old Republic failed pretty horribly. Yes. Just cause... I think. Was like the only le the only subscription based MMOs left are Guild Wars Two and No um... Guild Wars Two isn't subscription based, isn't it? Nope. I thought one -off it was. Payment. I knew a... the first one was free, but I didn't know I'm about the second sure it, one. It's a one off payment, and then there's microtransactions in game. You can ah. do. Ah, but... see, there's the microtransactions. Well, there's so, like, like every game MMO. Now. Like WoW is the last truly subscription based. Isn't and they it? got a ton of what microtransactions. What about RuneScape? <laughs> What about no, RuneScape? RuneScape's now paid. Is it just paid one off? But if it's subscription, then I think no, it's it, subscription. It's still pretty popular. Yeah. Though. RuneScape yeah, is but it's got a free really to... popular. It's got yeah. free. Well, they're re... they're overhauling it, aren't they? They're coming out yeah. with RuneScape three now, aren't they? Mm. I mean, I played RuneScape two back sort of. That's just... the original. <laughs> Whatever the original one. Was. I never played the first one. I played sort of the second iteration. That's the one I played, and that's the only MMO I've actually ever sort of grinded in. Yeah, I never properly. got anywhere in RuneScape because I couldn't stand the grind, and it's part of the reason I'm wary of any yeah. MMO because I just I don't. It's such a waste of time. Why should I be doing it if I'm not having fun with it? You know. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. Warframe is considered a MMO FPS. Is and it? I haven't, I, yeah, because it's sort of all online with a lot of people and like every mission you can do with four other people. I haven't got a chance to play like that far into it, but it seems interesting. So I'll have to, when I have time and I get round to it, play it some more. But the maybe thing it'll be with, the summer. Yeah, the thing with MMOs. I'll play it with you some. Yeah. The thing with MMOs and grinding is like. There's never a time, so let's say if I play COD, or, or even Dead Space, whatever, whatever game you're playing, like, the, someone can jump on and after a week, they got all the same shit as you do. Um, yeah. And there's no real difference, whereas, like, wow, there's no, 
you can't just jump on like That's good true. players are rewarded yeah but also bad players who spend quite a lot of time on it are rewarded too but it's still better you know than just you, having yeah i guess you have some opportunities but crap people also get you know it takes you a point have something out, takes to show out. exactly like it shows you spent this much time in it but that is that really a good thing um well the idea is that you spend time to get better at it and once you do that you're rewarded by being better at it see yeah. the thing is the problem with mmos is i think they spread themselves a little too thin they you know they've got player versus um environment they've got player yeah. versus player and then they've got um you know co-op and it's kind of, if I want to play co-op, I'll play a game based or like designed for co-op. If I want to play, you know, player versus environment, I'll play a normal RPG or something. If I want to play PvP, I'll play a specifically PvP game. Yeah, it's yeah. just I think the way they market it is it's a world. It's like it's a world. A world and you explore. Thing. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 all of that, you know. It's like Skyrim and player versus player. Uh, it, it's just it's everything wrapped into one, and but you get to pick everything. What you do, yeah. Yeah, there's but no structure. That's yeah, that's which not is probably necessarily a like. good yeah. thing. It. I mean, it depends what you like, and it depends what you want from a game. Um, and it, the way you play it, though, you can play it following all the tips, or you can play it doing whatever you want. And I quite like that. Because, yeah. as we said, you know, it would be nice in Bioshock if you could play through the way you wanted to. I don't think... It, I think it has its place... I don't think all story games need, like, huge borders, because people will just stop, Going you know, doing the main story. Yeah. And when that happens, the main story becomes less relevant. Um, but I think it, it works in MMOs. It's something that you you kind of have to experience to get the, to get the full impression of it. Because, I mean, Skyrim is like, how long would it take to complete everything in there? Not long, actually. Long, actually really? If, you're talking, if you're talking If you're talking vanilla, and you don't get distracted with non-side quest stuff, not that long, honestly. No, that's... But I've no, never... No, but... I've never sort of heard the end of Skyrim. I don't know what the story is. I've never I, sort of heard of someone finishing the main story. I would say I think... I never got the DLC, um, the DLCs, but I would say that I completed Vanilla Oblivion. I did everything there was to do in that game. Like, even dungeons. I think I must have done every dungeon in that game at least once. See, now, does that not constitute as grinding? Not necessarily, because I was having fun with the combat system. I was having fun yeah, leveling up my character. It's yeah, but it, you do this. Grind you... is when you do grind is like when all the variety is taken out of that, and that's the thing. You know, you've got to have variety in monsters you're fighting, what skills you can get, what equipment you can use, what that equipment does. You know. Variety is the important thing, and grind is when you don't have any variety. Yeah, you can see that. Yes. Indeed. James, have you got anything to say? You've been quiet for a few minutes. Me? Oh. oh. I was just sort of agreeing with what Liam said um, about grinding. Just like, people grind Call of Duty just to reach 10th prestige or whatever. And I don't see the fun in that. I only play it when I'm enjoying it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think it's nice to have the option though. Like, I I quite enjoy doing that. If there's if there's at least something, like I don't, I'm not just going to do it just for the badge, mm. but like, uh, obviously now it's hacked and stuff, And um, but like back in COD 4 days, it used to, 
when people arrived with temp in the lobby, it was actually like, hmm, that's cool. Like, um, so some people just like having stuff to show mm. for it. I think it's, I think it's just, it's just like some people do, like they kind of enjoy grinding. Like they enjoy the, the process of it. Mm, I suppose it's so yeah. Once you finally reach it, but yeah, I, I don't enjoy that particularly personally. Oh, I mean, there was no showing of Train Simulator or new F1 game <laughs> at E3. I'm disappointed. No. That was a shame. We um, want the next Train Simulator 2014. We do. We, do. Yeah. we want more zombies. Extreme edition. What, yeah. Have you been watching the zombies? Because there's zombies. No, well, there's zombies in the latest few episodes, so. Don't even. <laughs> I assume that's a mod. No, 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 they released no. it as a Halloween sort of thing. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got distracted by something. What's this about zombies? Trains vs. Zombies, the Train DLC for oh, Train Simulator. Oh, Train Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amusing more than anything. Yeah, that's craziness. Uh, right. Well, I guess the fact that the consoles are now 60 FPS. Oh. Mm. That, that's new. But I haven't love. had that on my PC for a year. So. Yeah, but I mean, stuff's been running at 60 FPS for a while. Mm. But not on consoles. Yeah, it's just I don't see it as that much bigger a breakthrough. Then they also support 4K or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, no one's going to use 4K. That's not nice. yet, but in five years. Yeah, in five years, true. But are they going to have it's nice power? to the support file of 4, 4K. 4K I don't think so. Resolution. Ooh. It's not actually 4K, it's oh. 2K. It's really stupid. We had a yeah, look at it at college it's and it's, it's basically I double don't... 1080p. Okay. So it works on sort of a 42 inch monitor or so, something. I mean, there are, there are 8K TVs out. Yeah. So, and they are real um, 4K. Um, but, you know, is anyone going to utilize this? It's, <clears throat> maybe. It's future, <clears throat> maybe. Proofing. But it is. It, but, yeah. Um, I just I don't see it being used very much. I mean, they seem to be boasting that they've only just managed to get it to support native 1080p. But are they going to be powerful enough to support full 4K? I mean, how. Yes. If games are going to be developed with that in mind. Mm -hmm. Are they just going to get bigger? Files? Well, file size, they have to. Yeah. So <laughs> how big, I mean, you've got 500 gig hard drive. If you're downloading games exclusively, you're not going to get many games onto a PS4 or Xbox. Four or five, if that. Yeah. It's, but with this recording as well, even though it's not native, I assume it's going to take up some space somehow. Some sort of buffer somewhere. Before yeah, it goes up. I yeah. just, I don't, I don't think it's ever going to be able to handle it properly. We'll have to wait and see. I think because we can't judge before we see it. Unless there's some kind of dedicated chip or part of it that's specifically for the streaming. Oh, I was thinking that. Yeah, well. it would be really nice if they had. I mean, they may have done, you never know. I mean, they've got know. four two cores, right? The PS4. Ooh, have a look, yeah. somebody. It's some sort of AMD hybrid. Mixture semi custom eight core AMD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, it's. But it's like they're split into four or something, aren't they? Well, yeah, eight cores are, I think. They're just two fours. Pretty much stuck together. No, it's like, it's four it, twos, I think. Is it four twos? Oh yeah, yeah. I thought oh, it was. I forgot. It's yeah. It, it, it doesn't say much about it. So they yeah. could dedicate some of those. Yeah, maybe just a pair. Yeah. Because that would work. Would that would that, that be enough be to handle enough. it? It depends. Because if it, if if it is streaming in two K. No. There's no way. You, There's you're not no good. way. You, you, you can't, can't stream in 2K. If it's 1080p, 720, I could see it working. Especially 720. That doesn't require too much power. A load of people need to have the bandwidth to stream 
even no, seven. No, times. exactly. And everyone but will I mean, try, and it will be two FPS. Google <laughs> Wire is going to come out soon enough. So. Yeah, 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 and I'm still stuck with normal broadband that cuts out every hour or so. Well, that's been quite nice this evening. That's surprising. Excellent. Yeah, mine hasn't dropped out. I had to drop out once, actually. Hmm. I was expecting more of that, honestly. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, we should be happy. Yes, yeah, so I think we're getting towards the end of going through everything that happened to E3. Is there Wind Waker HD. We all kind of knew about that for a yeah. while before. I don't know. I need to play Wind Waker anyway. It looks cool. I like the cell shaded I... style and... Like I said at the start, I'm, the only console I'm interested in is a 3DS, because I want... <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, because they announced the Smash right. Brothers for 3DS, didn't they? Yeah, well, it's Smash Brothers on 3DS, but basically none of the consoles have got any sort of confirmed games that have really piqued my interest. That you won't be able to get on PC. Yeah, that I won't be able to get on PC, and... Except for the 3DS, which has got Fire Emblem, which I've heard a lot of good stuff about, and I've lately been getting into sort of strategy games quite a bit. Yeah. Um, also, because I, I don't know, there's something strangely addictive about it. I want the new um, Animal Crossing. There's Pokemon as well. Uh, new Pokemon yeah, so coming. Say, how are the Pokemons on the 3DS? Because I'd Excellent. love to play. James? You have yeah, a 3DS? X and y. I don't have any 3D Pokemon games. They're not out yet. Was this not I don't Black and White 2 3D, 3D enabled? <laughs> no, that was no? only DS. No, they're only standard yeah. DS. Huh. Seems silly, but... I mean, the last Pokemon game I played was Emerald, so you know. <laughs> well, that's, that's a while back. <laughs> I played Black, and that was it. Yeah. No, be interesting. And finally, um... Ocarina of Time, the like remake, 3D yeah. on, yeah. Those, yeah. Are the, those are the four main games, and I'm sure there are other Mario games. Mario Kart. I've got that, and that's actually really good. Yeah. The way they've done it, I think. Yeah. Um, I we didn't. We didn't really talk yeah. about Witcher Three. We talked about CD Projekt Red for a little bit. But anybody interested? Anybody played any of the other Witcher games? And oh God, what's happened? <laughs> Apparently. No, Liam! Apparently, no. wasn't interested. Liam, <laughs> no! Where's the no? It's, it's broken again! No! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, let's wait for him to come back. There yeah. we go. Fixed! Okay, He's so. Alive. Liam, have you played any of the Witcher games? Are you interested by them? Or. Anything? I don't think he's here yet. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, so, have any of you played any of the Witcher games or are interested by them? Have looked at them? I own the second one on Steam. The first one's only like £7, so yeah. I'll probably pick that up. Um, and yeah, I think I've, I've heard a lot of good stuff. I'll give them a go. Yeah. James or Johnny, have you. I. I have no, no, I haven't heard nothing. Well, they're, ba they're basically sort of really good RPG games. Mm, might, might take a look. Uh, and right, they're on sure. sale this weekend. Yeah, like they're what not. I've heard it... mm. They have like... adult sort of proper themes in like proper po political views and problems you have and. It's not like, because normally when it comes to games, when you hear the word mature, you think, oh yeah, there's a sex scene. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, there is a sex scene. <laughs> not just mature, one. <laughs> but like, you know, it is, it's supposed to be properly mature in theme and stuff. Speaking of which, would anyone like to see someone just completely butcher a Game of Thrones game? There was I just think one. that'd be absolutely hell. There was one. There was a Game of Thrones RPG released a couple of years ago. Oh on PC, God. there's a Apparently couple of it was mods. Terrible. There's a couple of mods for sort of medieval themed games, yeah, like Crusader um, Kings is one. Crusader it? Kings, which I'm actually playing right now, <laughs> and uh, Mountain Blade. Ooh, I might try that. One. Actually, I've got Warband. I did enjoy it when I played it. Before. I think it's Warband that the mod is for. So I'll have to look into that. You may see a video coming in the future. 
Excellent. <laughs> yes. Well, and it, they both fit. You know, they fit Game of Thrones well because Game of Thrones is very medieval, and they're medieval yeah. games. And it's not all about the action; it's a very political story. Mm. That's why Crusader Kings works so well for it, because it's not all action. It's there's a lot of sort of intrigue and stuff in it. But yeah, Witcher Three coming out, I think next year they said, or possibly later this year. I can't quite remember, but it's going to be an open world. Something we've been talking quite a lot about this second half. But it's going to be a more open world game than the first two. The first two. Had a lot of side quests and stuff you could do, but it was a sort of a story you had to follow through. It was it was more it was kind of Dragon Age, wasn't it? Like there were set sort of hub areas and you fast yes, traveled between yeah. them. Um Yeah. Yeah. It was... I'm just not a fan of side quests. I feel like you either give me full Rome or you're just kind of distracting me from the main yeah, I mean, well, when I say sort of there were side quests, I mean, you could just go off and explore sort of the surrounding area. Like, uh, one of the first areas is a town on the edge of a forest. You can go and sort of explore the forest on your own, but there's, if you sort of pick up all the quests, there are quests that take you to the different areas of the forest to make sure you see sure. all the sort of important things around there. But Witcher 3 looks awesome. Like, graphically, it's going to be amazing because, I don't know, the engine they're using, the red engine, is just... Really good. You'll need a good PC though to run it. I mean, it's the same with Witch 2, mm. but yeah. Mm. I will. I will definitely pick that one up. And then they're working on Cyberpunk 2077 as well, which is going to be a Cyberpunk oh, yeah. RPG, yeah. which not much has been released about yet, so can't really talk about it. But anyway. Quite. Yes, we've been talking for about two and a half hours, so I have a feeling we should probably stop. Wait, wait, can I just... wait, wait. you can Anything? get a boxed version of Minecraft for 360. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I didn't... I didn't know that! Yeah. It's new, I think. It's, Only yeah. it's sucked, though. I mean, That's... You can get boxed versions of Angry Birds. Oh for PC, God. so... Is there a special edition where it comes in a big bird? I would imagine so. <laughs> Do they, like, throw it to your house? <laughs> now with Minecraft, you get some real dirt with it. Oh, wow. Just it comes in just a... <laughs> it, do you remember those things you used to get as a kid where you had to, like, dust off and there was, like, pretend dinosaur bones? Yeah. Oh, you just yeah. have to get, like, a big block of soil and just hack away <laughs> it. And the disc is somewhere in there. <laughs> Be Somewhere careful, you don't want to break it. <laughs> yeah. It all, all, that's that's a special edition, it's all packed in the dirt. There's a little Steve statue in there and <laughs> <laughs> Lava as well. Yeah, there's a bit of lava in there. Achievement earned. You like this game way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, very funny. <laughs> well, that brings a close the <laughs> second part of the Gaming Octopus Octo Chat E free thing of absolute craziness. Hopefully, we can do this again sometime soon because it has been a good chat. Uh, maybe we'll try and shorten it down though, because two and a half hours is a rather long time for people it's to quite watch. Long time. The other thing is, I don't think we quite have any more gaming topics to talk about when E3 is not on. Well, we can do, like, releases that are coming out. Yeah, but... there are... <laughs> or just focus it on, like, one sort of... one area of gaming, and I mean, what we did before was we had sort of... like, we'd, like, we'd have sort of someone new on that hasn't been on before and just ask sort of what games they used to play, what got them into gaming, what games they're looking forward to and stuff like that and that quite works because I mean James and Johnny you haven't been on for an episode like that so maybe we could get you two um, on at some point just separately to do that which would be quite cool I think but anyway yeah. goodbye goodbye uh, wave wave uh, um, I'm waving I <laughs> can't see it but... oh. thank you thank you
<laughs> <laughs> what?